Hi kids! It's time to learn with Miss Kay. Today we are going to read the story of Walter the Baker by Eric Carle. Come on and join me! Walter the Baker by Eric Carle Long ago, in a town encircled by a wall, lived Walter the Baker, his wife Anna, and their son Walter Jr. So this is a town. Town. We call this a town. And who lives here? Walter the Baker lives here with his family. Walter the Baker was known even outside the walls of the town. He was the best baker in the whole duchy. Early every morning, while everybody else was still asleep, Walter began baking his breads, rolls, cookies, tarts, and pies. Mm, that makes me hungry. Do you know how breads, rolls, cookies, tarts, and pies look like? Well, let's look at them in real life. This is a bread. 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 These are rolls. There are different types of rolls. So this is one type of roll. Roll. Cookies. Cookies. These are cookies. Tarts. Tarts. These are tarts. Pies. Pies. This is a pie. Pie. Anna sold the baked goods in the store. No one could resist the warm, sweet smells drifting from Walter's bakery. People came from near and far. See, there are so many baked goods here. And that is making me so hungry. The Duke and Duchess who ruled over the duchy loved Walter's sweet rolls. Every morning, Walter Jr. carried a basket full of warm sweet rolls to the castle where they live. Do you know where Walter Jr. is? Walter Jr. is carrying a basket full of warm sweet rolls. And where is he? I think Walter Jr. is right here. See? He is carrying a basket full of warm sweet rolls. And this is a castle. We call this a castle. Castle. Mmm, said the Duchess, spreading Queen's jelly on her roll. Ah, said the Duke, putting honey on his. And so each day was the same as the day before. <gasps> Until one early morning. <gasps> Oh no! What's gonna happen? When Walter's cat was chasing a mouse and tipped over the can of milk. Can you see where the mouse is? Oh, the mouse is there! And where is the cat? Cat is here. It is Walter's cat. And the cat tipped over the can of milk. Oh no! What will I do? cried Walter. I cannot make sweet rolls without fresh milk. In desperation, Walter grabbed a pitcher of water. I hope nobody will notice the difference, he said as he poured the water into the flour to make the dough. Now, you and I may not be able to tell the difference between a roll made with water and one made with milk, but the Duke and Especially the Duchess could tell the difference. Ah! cried the Duchess after she took a bite. What is this? roared the Duke. Where is Walter the Baker? Bring him here at once. So Walter was brought before the Duke. What do you call this? roared the Duke. This is not a roll. This is a stone. And with that, he threw it at Walter's feet. I used water instead of milk, Walter admitted, hanging his
his head in shame. Pack your things and leave this town in my duchy forever, shouted the duke. I never want to see you again. My duke, pleaded Walter. This is my home. Where will I go? Please give me one more chance. Please. Oh, poor Walter. I must banish you, said the duke. But then he remembered Walter's good roles and how much he and the duchess would miss them. Well, Walter, the duke started to say. Then he thought and thought some more. You may stay if you can invent a roll through which the rising sun can shine three times. And to make it more difficult, he added, It must be made from one piece of dough, and most of all, it must taste good. Now, go home and bring me such a roll tomorrow morning. Poor Walter, worried and sad, he trudged back to his bakery. Walter worked all day and into the night. He made long rolls, short rolls, round rolls, twisted rolls. He made thin rolls and he made fat rolls. And he worked some more. Walter beat, pulled, pushed and pounded the door. But it was all in vain. He could not come up with a roll that would please the duke. By early morning, Walter had only one long piece of doll left. It's hopeless, he cried. In a sudden fit of anger, he grabbed the last piece of dough and flung it against the ceiling. Stick there, he yelled at the dough. But it didn't. It fell, twisting itself as it dropped down and plopped into a pail of water. Anna and Walter Jr. were awakened by Walter's yell and rushed into the bakery just as Walter was about to dump out the water and the twisted piece of dough. Father! Stop! shouted Walter Jr. Look! And Anna quickly popped the dough into the hot oven. Soon, it was brown and crisp. She took out the roll and handed it to Walter. It had not risen very high, but it had three holes. Walter held up the twisted roll and smiled. He saw that the morning sun was shining through it three times. Can you believe it? Walter put the roll into a basket and rushed to the castle to deliver his invention to the Duke and Duchess. And they too saw the morning sun shine through it three times. Then the Duke and Duchess each took a small bite. Walter was afraid to look because he had no idea how it would taste. Well done, said the Duke. Perfect, exclaimed the Duchess. Both were glad that Walter would not have to be sent away. And Walter too was happy that he could stay. Now, pray tell us, Walter. What do you call this? asked the Duke. Oh, uh, yes, pray uh, Estelle, Walter stammered as he tried to come up with a name. What was that? Pretzel, said the Duke. Pretzel it shall be. From now on, he declared, it shall be sweet rolls in the morning and pretzels in the afternoon, said the Duchess. So what do you call this kids? This is a 
pretzel. Pretzel, have you seen a pretzel before? Well, this is how a pretzel looks like. Pretzel. Pretzel. Walter returned to his bakery and spent all day and night making pretzels. The next morning, there were baskets of pretzels outside the store for the whole town to taste. And a special basket of pretzels for the Duke and Duchess. And a cheer went up for Walter the Pretzel Maker. The end. And that's the story of Walter the Baker. Hi kids, are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we're going to learn about animals as we read the story of Do you want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend by Eric Carl? Oh, look at the cover. The cover has a picture of an What animal is this? This is an elephant. And this is a mouse. Yes. Elephant is big and mouse is small. Let's see what the story is all about. Do you want to be my friend? Miss K likes meeting new friends. Ooh, looks like our story is starting now. There's a tail right here. Hmm, let's see. Do you want to be my friend? The mouse says, Do you want to be my friend? The mouse is talking to a... A tail! This is a tail! And this is a tail of an animal! Can you think of an animal that has this kind of tail? Hmm, Miss K will give you time to guess. Do you have a guess now? What is this animal? Let's find out. This is a... A what? This is a horse! A horse! And what is the sound that the horse makes? <laughs> nay! Nay! Yes, the horse says nay! Nay! Ooh! Looks like the mouse saw another tail. But wait! There are two tails. So there must be two animals here. Let's start with this one. Can you think of an animal with this kind of tail? Hmm. I'll give you time to think about it. Do you have a guess now? What do you think is this animal? <gasps> okay, let's find out later if your answer is right. How about this? What do you think is this animal? It looks like the tail is shorter compared to this animal. Mm, go think about it. Now let's find out these two animals. This animal with a tail like this is a... It's a... A crocodile. Yes, a crocodile says chomp, chomp, chomp. What about this? This is a bird. Yes, and a bird says tweet, tweet, tweet. Let's see how a crocodile looks like. This is a crocodile. Crocodile. This is a bird. Bird. Yes, this is a bird. Whoa, the long tail is still here. And there's another tail. What animal could this be? Do you have a guess? Let's see what animal is this. This tail is from a... <gasps> what animal is this? This is a lion. The lion says, roar, roar. Yes, the lion says, roar, roar. So this is a lion. Let's see how a lion looks like in real life. 
This is a lion. Lion. The mouse saw another tail. But wait, the long tail is still there. We still need to find out which animal has this tail. But for now, let's figure out which animal has this tail. Look closely. It looks like the tail is short. And the tail is hairy. Hmm, what animal could this be? Do you have a guess? Oh, Miss K is having a hard time finding out what animal is this. Tell me your guess. What is this animal? Let's find out. The tail is from the... What animal is this? Hippopotamus. Yes, it's a hippopotamus. This is a hippopotamus. And the hippopotamus likes to make snorting sound like this. Let's see a real hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. This is a hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. The mouse saw another tail. And the long tail is still here. But what about this tail? What animal has this tail? This tail is kind of unique. It's becoming more challenging to think of an animal that has this kind of tail. Maybe you can help Miss K. What do you think is this animal? This animal is a seal. The seal likes to clap. Can you clap like a seal? <laughs> That's great, kids. Let's see how a seal looks like in real life. This is a seal. Seal. Whoa, look! There's another long tail. And of course, the green long tail is still here. But we need to find out which animal has this long tail. Can you guess it? Let's see if your guess is right. This tail is from a... A monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Can you pretend like a monkey? <laughs> that is so funny. This is a monkey. Let's see how a monkey looks like in real life. Monkey. This is a monkey. Monkey. There's another tail. And this tail. Ooh, look, it's so colorful. Can you please say colorful? Colorful means it's full of different colors. Can you tell me the different colors here? What colors can you spot in this tail? We have pink, yellow, blue, green, and maybe some purple. Can you think of an animal that has this kind of tail and it's very colorful and looks like it's also white? I have an answer. How about you? Do you have an answer? Can you please say your answer out loud? Ooh, let's find out if your answer is right. This tail is from a... What animal is this? It's a peacock. Peacock. And the peacock likes to make a yelping sound like this. <laughs> peacock. Now let's see how a peacock looks like in real life. This is a peacock. Peacock. There's another tail. Whoops. And our long tail is still here. But we need to find out the animal that has this tail. Hmm. Looks like it's very furry. And what do you think is this color? It's probably reddish in color or red. Can you think of an animal that has this tail and has a reddish color? Do you have an answer? Well, let's see if your answer is right. This tail is from a... What animal is this? It's from a fox. 
It's from a red fox. This is a red fox. Red fox. Let's see how a red fox looks like in real life. Red fox. Red fox. There is another tail. Wow, this tail looks like a stick. Can you think of an animal that has a tail like this? Mm, Miss K is having a hard time thinking of an animal with a tail that looks like a stick. Hmm, do you have an idea? Let's see if what you're thinking is right. This tail is from kangaroo. This is a kangaroo. The kangaroo likes to hop, 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 hop. <laughs> oh, look, the kangaroo has a baby inside the pouch. Do you know what we call the baby kangaroo? The baby kangaroo is called a joey. Joey. So this is mommy kangaroo and this is baby kangaroo which is called joey. Hi mommy and baby kangaroos. Are you ready to see the next tail? Oh, it's getting more exciting. The long tail is still here, but look, there's another tail right there. And looks like this animal is so tall because the mouse seems to be jumping. What animal has this tail that looks like it's tall? Let's see if your answer is right. This tail is from... Whoa, this animal is so big and so tall. This is a giraffe. Yes, this is a giraffe. And look, the giraffe is bending its neck. Can you bend your neck like a giraffe? <laughs> that is awesome. So this is a giraffe. Now let's see how a real giraffe looks like. Giraffe. This is a giraffe. Do you want to see the next tail? The next tail is... Where are you, mouse? Woo! Mouse is there and the tail is... Here! Woo! That's a very tiny tail. What could be this animal? Can you think of an animal that has this tail? This animal is a... Mouse! It's from a mouse like our tiny mouse. And the little mouse says, yes. Do you still remember the question of our first mouse? Remember the question of the first mouse? The first mouse asked, do you want to be my friend? And so the next mouse says, yes. That means to say that the second mouse likes to be his friend. Oh, that is so sweet. He wants to be friend with the mouse too. But look, the long green tail is still here. Oh, it's so long. It keeps going on and on and on. What is this animal that has this tail and has this body that is very long? Let's keep on reading. <gasps> it's still there. It made a loop right here and it keeps going, going, going. Woo! Look at the two mice. They are hiding inside a hole. And there is another animal here. This is a caterpillar. Let's say hi to the caterpillar. Hi, caterpillar. But we got to find out what animal is this. Do you have a guess? Miss K is having a hard time thinking about this animal. Hmm. Let's see if your guess is right. This animal is a... It's a... Snake. The snake is very long. This is a snake. Snake. The snake says... The two mice are having fun 
under the ground. Um, yum, 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 yum. I think they're eating something here. I don't know what they're eating, but they're having fun. And they are happy because they are now friends. The end. And that's the story of... Do you want to be my friend? Oh, that story is so fun, right? Oh, did you enjoy this story? Miss K enjoyed it so much because you helped Miss K guess the animals with different tails. You're so smart and you're so cooperative for helping Miss K. So thank you so much for joining Miss K today. Don't forget that we have so many more stories in our channel. So ask your parents and grown up to check our channel and of course don't forget to like and subscribe. So today we read the story of Do You Want To Be My Friend? Let's say bye to the mouse and elephant. Bye! Bye kids! See you next time! Hi kids! It's time to learn with Miss Kate. Today we are going to read the story of The Very Clumsy Click Beetle The Very Clumsy Click Beetle by Eric Carl one fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. Can you see where the click beetle is? The click beetle is right here. This is a click beetle. Click beetle. Let's see how a click beetle looks like in real life. Click beetle. And what do you call this? This is the sun. Sun. The sun shines so brightly. At noon, it climbed up and down a... What is this? Flower. Flower. So this is a flower. And the click beetle is right there. In the afternoon, it rummaged through a pile of pebbles. So this is a pile of pebbles. 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 These are pebbles. In the evening, it crawled among the tall blades of grass. What are these? These are blades of grass. And where is the click beetle? The click beetle is right there. So this is a Grass. Grass. And when it turned night, the young click beetle crept up a tree. Do you know what is this, kids? This is a moon. Moon. And this is a tree. Tree. After a while, it got tired and fell to the ground. It landed on its back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn over onto its feet, but it couldn't. Help! It cried. All along, a wise old click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow morning, I will teach you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet said the wise old click beetle. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night. Can we say good night to the click beetle? Good night. Good night. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, Look at me. This is how it is done. First, it turned onto its back and then with a loud click. Can we say click? It flipped through the air and landed on its feet. Now you try it, said the wise old beetle. Thank you, that looks easy, replied the young click beetle. Just then, an earthworm stuck his head up out of the ground. What is this, kids? This is an earthworm. Earthworm, let's see how an earthworm looks like. Earthworm, earthworm. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click. Say it one more time. Click. 
It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a turtle ambled by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep trying. So this is a turtle. Turtle. So this is how a turtle looks like. Turtle. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click. Can you say click? Click. Click. It flipped through the air. But it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a snail slithered by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. What is this? This is a snail. Snail. Let's see how a snail looks like. Snail. Look at me. Said the young click beetle and with the loud click. Say it one more time. Click. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a mouse scurried by. What is this? This is a mouse. It's a mouse. Let's see how a mouse looks like. Mouse. You need a little more practice, said the mouse. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, say it, click. It flipped through the air, but it landed on its back. Just then, oh, oh, what was this? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move. It was scared. What do you think are these kids? It seems so big. Can you please say so big? So big. Oh, look. What is this? Quick, quick and flip, cried the wise old click beetle who was watching. And the young click beetle clicked and flipped through the air. But this time, it did three graceful somersaults and... Oh, let's see what's gonna happen. Landed on its feet. Wow! Finally, the click beetle landed on its feet. Look at you! Shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it! Great job, click beetle! See? The click beetle did not give up. He kept on trying and trying and trying until he finally did it. Let's say great effort, click beetle. Can we say that? Great effort! Great effort! Great effort! So we are proud of the click beetle for trying very hard. The end! And that is the story of... The Very Clumsy Click Beetle. Hi kids! Are you ready to learn with Miss Kay? Today we are going to read the story of... The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Are you ready? Come on and join me. The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? See, there's a strong wind right here. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. 
it flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Do you know what this is? This is a sun. A sun! Can you spot where the tiny seed is? I think the tiny seed is right here. See that? That's the tiny seed. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. So this is the icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on. But the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. So this is the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind. But the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drips down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. So this is a desert. Desert. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Where is the bird? Right, this is the bird and the bird ate one of the seeds. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. See, these are snowflakes. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Where is the mouse? The mouse is right here. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls, the seeds grow so brown and full they start to burst open a little. Now, they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. They are plants now. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then, their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed and it takes all the sunlight and rain away from one of the small new plants and the little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and... Oh! He breaks one! Now, it cannot grow anymore. Oh, poor plant. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast. But its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. Can we count the number of leaves here? One, two, three. How about the leaves of this plant? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven leaves here. And look, a bud. And now even a, what is this? A flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then, a shadow looms over them. Then, a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. 
It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now, a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Where are the birds? These are the birds. What about the bees? Oh, the bees are right there. How about the butterflies? Butterflies! Hi, butterflies! Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with their bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind. But the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower and this time, the flower seed bud opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away on the wind. The end. And that's the story of The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Did you enjoy our story for today? I hope that you did. Don't forget to ask your parents or grown-ups to subscribe to our channel so you can hear more stories from Miss K soon. But for now, let's wave bye to Miss K. See you kids again next time. Bye!